Hello, this is part two of my little analog wave twisting circuit uh, where I just get a control voltage and spin it over and have a, a little bit of control to do things with it. Change the control voltage into a different type of control voltage. Uh, the basic thing is, I've tried this with audio and mm, it's not too great. It's not turned out the way I was kind of hoping it would turn out. However, with control voltages, yeah, it starts to become a little bit more interesting. So I've got to this part of the board now where I've put all the inputs on the left hand side, the outputs on the right hand side, and plenty of space so you can get your fingers between the potentiometers and things. And I might even change these caps anyway. So if I give it enough space, I can play about and see what looks the best there. However, after I figured out sort of putting it all together like this then I've got to get the board and the board goes on the back and then somehow I've got to connect these pins to this although the copy the, the copper rather is on the bottom so I kind of faffed about trying to figure out how to connect all this together and then suddenly a little brain wave says look at all that space in there I can build the entire circuit actually inside these gaps in these little spaces. So I've had a look around and I uh, found this nice copper board which is just ideal. So I'm going to make the entire thing on this one copper board with all the controls, all the circuitry and everything. And I've basically come up with this. This program by the way is a program called Fritzing and uh, it's, it's free to download and use and actually it's, it's quite good. I've only really just started getting going with this. So if I just open up uh, what I've been working on now, open, aha. Right, now on this uh, Fritzing program, you can use, oh, I thought it was gonna crash then. There you go. So this basically is all these buttons all in the right places where I wanted them to be. But I've added, as I said, all the circuitry and things in all the gaps, in all the little bits of spaces and things. I've tried to squish it down as much as possible, but uh, I'm not limited for space. This can't be a tiny little thin Eurorack module anyway, not with all these jacks in and out and eight potentiometers and so on and so forth. So that's what I've kind of come up with. I also figured out as I was going along, if you use the different circuit, if you have a, a sine wave in difference A uh, and a triangle in difference B, and you flip them over, you get a different signal to them being unflipped. So I'm going to add this little switch on there as well, so that it swaps the input A and the input B over. And yeah, it kind of gives a different waveform. I've been playing about on the oscilloscope and I don't know why that works but it does. So anyhow, right there we go. Uh, I'm going to get this etched, put the components on the board and then find out where all my mistakes are.
So it's all placed into its uh, case now, but you know, it's, it's a bit big. I mean, the whole point of having Eurorack instead of uh, 5U or the Moog style of uh, modular system is the size and you know trying to get everything smaller and smaller because not everybody's got lots of space so yes i've made that and it, it's too big i could have made it half of the size really by doubling the board or even using surface mount components and things but for the time being you have to build something to realize the mistakes or to realize the better way of building something so maybe i'll do a, another version of that sometime in the future now the uh, schematics and everything for this, the Wave Twister, is all on my website. And if you just have a look down there, there'll be a little link to go and grab the, not not really the schematics, but the the uh, the build stuff for the circuit diagrams and everything. So anyway, I'll just show you where I am. So what I've got set up here is uh, a basic sequence that's stepping up and stepping back down again. The reason for that is so that I can kind of mess around and get it in tune. I've tried this with uh, audio for changing bits of audio and it kind of works, but it, it hasn't turned out as good as I was hoping. But uh, with control voltages, yeah, it seems to be okay for fiddling around and making things. So this instrument here is uh, the Mini Brute 2S. And I'm just using the control voltage at the moment. I'm going to have the volume down on that. And uh, this is just going to send the control voltage into the wave twister thing. Okay, so this, as you see on the oscilloscope here, that is the signal that's coming in. That blue one is the clocking signal. So it's basically going up and down the tuning, the tones, the notes, if you wish. So nice and simple. I know it's slightly out of tune because you've got to you've got to mess around with the bias a little bit until you kind of get it as close as possible but if you've got a quantizer even better but I'm not going to use the quantizer on this at the moment I just want to try and uh, turn that down a little bit just want to try and uh, give an example of what it does. It's got a DC bypass so, I don't know, it might be useful for somebody. So basically, I've got the, uh, the control voltage going into uh, both the A and the B channels, so I can make two copies of it and set them apart. So that's going into one of the VCOs. This is going into the other VCO. But if you notice, the notes are traveling away from each other and then coming back again. Although it's the same control voltage that's going into the, the system. There's only one control voltage going in. But because of this uh, flip sort of circuit here, you can flip one the other way around. So when you send a note in, it's actually gonna play the opposite. And then you can have a bit of control where they are. More bass. Take it up a little bit. See, so you've got those two notes already. And uh, if you start to bring in the original, you'll also notice that the two notes that are following each other are slightly apart. So you play one note and you're actually getting two notes and then a third note in a mirror image, if that makes any sense. So, the uh, summing circuit now, if I take those back off, if I start to... What I'm doing there is a little bit of a, a, a triangle. I'm uh, bringing that in to the beginning of the note and I'm adding it in the summing circuit. So what's coming into A also goes into the summing circuit and then you can add another signal into that and sum that together. So you're getting the note plus the beginning of a triangle. So it gives it that ding, 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 like so. You can go a little bit over the top. But yeah, 
the whole point of making this was just to mess about with control voltages. Well, and audio as well, but the audio, like I say, isn't too great on it. But uh, second version, who knows? Now, uh, And that, in a way, I think is, uh, I don't know, sort of musical, in, in my fashion anyway. And, like I say, it's only one control voltage that's actually running into all that, and this is just uh, changing those voltages and shifting them around a little bit with the bias adjusts and flipping so that, that's how you're getting these sort of opposite shapes and patterns going off there so uh like i say all the schematics are on the website there you go that's just a second reminder and uh yeah this was just experimentation i just wanted to sort of try and build something uh for other people to make if they wish to make it uh so yeah uh if i kind of uh patch or rather set up a little sequence here now. And then play that, and I'll just mess around for a moment. I've got a few more ideas for some other sort of little smaller modules, you know, bits and pieces, and I'm going to be working on those pretty soon. So if you like this uh, kind of thing where I'm actually making things rather than taking things apart, please mention it in the comment below. And, uh, you know, uh, maybe I'll try and be a bit more inventive rather than destructive. So all the best. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Thank you.